Hello everyone, today we are going to be going over the blind C5 in C++ and today we are working on the problem rotate an image or rotate an image per se. So before we get started, make sure that whenever we are breaking down our question, we have our four steps that we need to do. I'm just going to write them all out so that way you can follow along too. I'm just going to this right here, copy paste here, here, and here. We need to figure out what the input is. What data structure slash algorithm slash technique to use? What to do with the data and what our output is going to be? So to be able to break down on the problem, you are given an n times n 2D matrix represent an image. You can just copy this and put it inside of our input. And you can even look up here in the parameters to be able to see exactly what's going to be inputted is representing an image, rotate the image by 90 degrees, okay, clockwise. You have to rotate uh, the image in place, which means you can modify the input 2D matrix directly. Do not allocate another 2D matrix and do the rotation, okay. So that means we need uh, to modify, and that means we're not going to be necessarily storing, per se. Okay, we won't be storing anything since right here, if we are rotating an image in place, we just need to modify the 2D matrix directly. And that means we're not going to make another matrix to store every single element that we are visiting. This part can be tricky at first, but if you understand more about data structures and algorithms, data structures can be used in particular to keep track of every single element that we have visited in order for our output, which would be our answer. However, we um, are not going to be using a data structure in this case. Instead, we are just going to be doing this technique called an in-place matrix rotation. And what is that really? Well, an in-place uh, matrix rotation is really just two for loops where we swap both of the first element we scan and the second element we also scan as well. So for instance, if we were to have uh, a matrix of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what we need to do really in terms of rotating it, you notice the uh, the numbers 1, 2, and 3. They're all going to be rotated 90 degrees, so 1, 2, and 3 accordingly. And then also the same thing, uh, <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, which would therefore be 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 9. Accordingly, it would just be rotated in the rows and columns accordingly. One could even uh, take apart the matrix as well to be able to fully understand, but we're just rotating 90 degrees accordingly. So that means we are going to be scanning the entire uh, matrix. And since we are uh, going to be calling upon this method called swap, both I and J respectively, Um, one and to another. Okay. And so the steps for us to be able to do is, is that first thing we are going to do, there are some great uh, tools in the STL library. We are going to be first reversing the matrix from beginning to end. Then the second step that we will be doing is that we are going to be Swapping the elements across each diagonal of the matrix. And for each row,
then what we'll be doing is then swapping the elements which have been reversed. So we're going to be focusing on these three steps accordingly. So the first step we are going to be doing is that we're going to be calling on reverse from the SEL library. Reverse uh, matrix begin matrix dot end. Step two, we're going to be swapping the elements accordingly. So we're going to have two for loops as indicated by our uh, technique, we're doing in place matrix rotation. So it's going to be int i is going to be zero, i is going to be matrix, and it's going to be less than matrix dot size i plus plus. And then we're also going to have a second for loop accordingly as we are scanning the entire matrix again, but from the next element as well. One, j is going to be less than matrix. We are currently at, since we need to take into consideration if we have two elements right here. Uh, size j plus plus and then we are going to be swapping our matrix from i and j and matrix j and i accordingly and actually this is a very very simple a uh, simple type of uh, solution at the same time because we have already rotated our matrix accordingly. I know this may be a little bit confusing to be able to start, but this is just the uh, techniques that we have already been uh, taking in from the STL library, where we are taking one element that we have already have, and then we are going to be swapping it accordingly after we have reversed our following matrix. And then once we have reversed our following matrix, we're then going to be swapping each of the elements uh, within a 90 degree uh, Plane. So let's just see if this runs accordingly. And leak code is down. That's uh, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's absolutely great. This entire website is completely down. So anyway, uh, just to be able to go over the space and time complexity for a following solution, I'm also going to have it up here and be able to edit it, is that given the fact that we have two nested for loops accordingly, the time complexity for this is going to be O n squared, where n is the number of rows uh, relative to the matrix, uh, since we're also scanning both two elements accordingly. And then we're going to have a space complexity, luckily, since we are not using any data structure to store anything, uh, uh, the space complexity is going to be O of 1 to start with, since we're not storing anything and we are asked to be able to rotate the matrix as is. So, yeah, this was Rotate an Image. Thanks again for taking time to watch this. If you enjoyed this, feel free to um, like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers.